So I introduced some of the staff members here to Cards Against Humanity. To be honest, I've been sick of it for about the past year. Yes, it has an infinite number of answers because it has many different ways cards you can play it with and many different people you play it with. But when you play it with enough new people and they're too busy laughing at the actual cards, the answers don't make sense. And yeah, I've been kind of burned out for about a year. But I've introduced the staff here to it and they love it. And it took a while. I had a friend who has this big old huge box of it and the expansion packs and the box that had a lot of empty space for more expansion packs. And I'm like, why do you have all this? You don't, don't even have any friends. And of course it was up to me to and bring the friends. And then he chose another woman over me after I finally fell for him after six years. And well, good luck to him. I don't know how that's going. And a part of me hopes that she hurts him. So anyway, and she probably will. But the point is, now I've introduced the staff here to it. And I'm a cranky old lady, so I have to text them at like 9, and I'm like, shut the hell up, I'm sleeping. And one time, some of the residents played with us, and they were too busy laughing at the cards themselves. And now the residents who've heard us play think that we're all completely sick bastards, and well, maybe we are. And... I think the new guy would really like playing it, except it's kind of hard when you play with mixed races just because you don't know that not ever that they're not actually racist. The staff isn't well. One of the staff is Mexican, and she knows that we're actually not. But the new guy, his he's black. I don't know if he knows us well enough to know that he's that we're not actually well. Trucker probably shouldn't play with us, but I think the new guy would have a good time with us. But what have I done? And then, of course, every word that they don't understand, they ask me because I've played it the longest and I've had to urban dictionary a lot of things. And some of the words are just stupid, like dick fingers. Yeah, when I was a kid, we called that butter fingers, okay? Why change it to dick fingers? It's stupid. And I have to explain things like glory holes. And and then I've learned more about history from this game than, in, than I did in history class. Like... Trail of Tears. I didn't learn about that in class. Learned about that through the game. And I have to explain why smallpox blankets is a bad thing. And pretty much if I have to explain the card, I'm the one who played it. Or the character we call Rando. Because it's a four person game at least. And we usually have three and then we just play a card for an extra person who doesn't exist. And his name is Rando. What have I done? I think I've ushered in the seventh circle of hell by introducing the staff to this game and they get drunk off of each other. They don't even need drugs or alcohol. They just feed off of each other and the game and now they're out there borrowing some of my movies that I haven't even seen. We're currently Super Troopers, which is apparently hilarious. I haven't seen that one. And I'm like, I'm the life of the party without even being at the party, so that's cool, I guess. What have I done?